Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to implement an AI chatbot in Minecraft using Mindflare in Python. And this is going to be an intermediate tutorial based off the beginner tutorial I posted earlier this week being this chatbot. Now there are three main differences between this chatbot and this AI chatbot. Those being setting up our bot, um, actually initializing it, and then using it. Now setting up is quite simple. You're just going to from Eliza import Eliza. Eliza equals Eliza.Eliza. You load the file. Now this file, I'm going to cover it real quick. So you can see here on the left, I have this folder here called Eliza. In it, I have two documents. I have this Eliza.py file copied straight from here. And then I also have this doctor.txt document. This is a whole bunch of God knows what, but it's used by this file to implement the chatbot. Now you might be wondering what is Eliza? Eliza is actually a mock psychotherapist that was made in the 1960s. And if you want to read more about it, I'm going to include a Wikipedia link where you can read all about it down in the description. Now that we have Eliza set up, we're going to look at actually making use of it. So here we have Eliza.initial. This is just going to set up some sort of greeting similar to what we had before, where bot was saying hi. Except this time it's going to be some randomized greeting from the assortment of greetings that Eliza might have. Now onto the more interesting part. We've got this message string event listener that we were previously using. However, this time we actually care a lot more about the quality of our message that's in the string. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is filter out the kind of username tag that appears at the start of every message. We do that by doing this. And after that, we want to verify that it's actually in chat. So it's sent from another player and that that other player doesn't so happen to be our bot. Uh, and then as before, we want to have our quit message. So whenever we type the exact string quit in chat, we want our bot to disconnect. So what we're going to do for that is we just got to have Eliza do her final goodbye, and then we're going to reconnect false, and then this dot quit like we we're previously doing. Now that we've filtered out every case we don't want, the cases remaining are someone who is actually talking to Eliza. And so what we're going to do is we're going to give that message to Eliza using Eliza.respond and then the message. We're going to store that into the temporary variable response, which we are then seeing if it has a response, then our bot will respond using that response from Eliza. And if it can't think of a response for whatever reason, then we're just going to have it say, I don't know what to say to that. Now let's see what that looks like in practice. All right, now that we've got everything set up, we're just going to run the script. And I'm warning you right now, Eliza, not very good by today's like AI standards. It was good enough in the 1960s. Uh, it should be good enough for like the average Minecraft server now if people aren't too kind of suspicious, worry about it. It's a lot of little kids that are playing nowadays and uh, they probably won't know the difference too much. Uh, but as you can see when it logs on it's got some sort of generic greeting like how do you do please tell me a problem say something like um, help I'm bad at bedwars. Is it because you're bad at bedwars that you came to me? Yes it is. You seem quite positive. I am positive that you'll be able to help me. How long have you been positive that you'll be able to help you? Uh, uh, I've been positive for a bit of time now. So as you can see, we don't need to keep going here. Um, whenever we type quit in chat, it'll just do its like generic goodbye and leave. So you'll see that here. And that's it. That's a sample of me talking to an Eliza AI chatbot from the 1960s in Minecraft. As always, at the top description, you'll find a link to all the code that I use for this video. In the middle, you'll find a link to all the references used for this video, including a Wikipedia link for Eliza the chatbot. And then at the bottom, you'll find two Discord links. There's the Prismarine.js Discord, which is for asking more general Mindflare questions. And then our community Discord if you want to ask questions relating specifically to these tutorials. That's it for today. Cheers.